Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I am specifically looking for love in this reading. Apparently, someone else wants to tell you that too. Come on, get it off your chest. Got anything else? Anything? All right, so. Guys, I'm looking for love for you guys, right? This is the love zone today. All right, guys. What's going on? Thank you, thank you. Who's loving on you? Anybody? How's your person thinking or feeling about you guys, right? What will the future look like with this person? Love Jones, guys, and Sex in the City together. Just so we can find some love. I hope we can find some love. You never know. Holy Spirit, where's the love tonight for the collective? Where's the love spirit? Okay. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Y'all not ready. <laughs> Somebody said, will you marry me? What a nice segue. A nice one. Somebody said, will you marry me? That's how someone's feeling about you right now. That's that's huge. So somebody wants to know if you would marry them, right? Like, will you marry me? They would love to say good morning, sweetheart, to you guys. They said that would sound good to me if they could marry you. They want to wake up to you, right? They they want to marry you. And they said, don't ever stop loving me. Who this baby knocking at your door? this person somebody loves you somebody wants to know if you would marry them right would you say yes guys to this person would you say yes come on heart there you go oh perfect lady would you marry them if someone asked you? Would you marry them? They said, will you marry me, guys? Oh, oh my gosh. And if you say yes, it's going to make someone else sad. So someone else is going to be in despair. Or if you tell this person no, they're going to be in despair, right? Maybe they're in despair now, scared to say it to you. And we have a, a mature man saying, don't ever stop loving me. Oh, guys. Oh, ooh, when I flip the deck up, this is a marriage on the bottom. I'm just going to sit this over here and see what happens with that, right? I'm just going to sit that there. Holy Spirit for the collective. Somebody wants to know, will you marry me? But I think if you accept this offer, it's going to break someone else's heart. Stop it. Miss Chase, okay, there we go. But if you say yes, it's going to break someone else's heart. And it's despair. Holy Spirit. Who is this privileged lady? Privileged lady, you walked away from this person before. Maybe this is the same man. Maybe this person is in despair right now because you walked away from them. And they just want to know right now, like if I came back, would you marry me? Or maybe they're walking away from something currently. You know what I mean? Holy Spirit, clarify the despair. Who is in despair? Okay. So this man, you walked away from this man. This man had options. This person had options, probably when you met or throughout the time when y'all was together. But you probably walked away. You did. But they had time to think. They've, they've been in despair since you left them. Because they just had too many options. But now they want to know, like, will you marry me? Don't ever stop loving me. Holy Spirit, clarify this mature man. Page of Pentacles on the back. How mature are you, sir? 
Please bear clarify this mature man with page of pentacles. This could be a younger person. Or it could have something to do with this child. Yeah. This could have something to do with the child. Whatever it is, it has this older man looking back at this page. Maybe that's one of their options. Maybe they have children to consider. This person doesn't know what to do. Page of Wands reverse. They probably have children to consider or family to consider with the Seven of Cups here. That's one reason why they can be in despair because they probably have too many things they need to take care of. Or there could be a despair because you walked away. But they definitely have things on their mind. Oh, what do we need, guys? We need more quicker. That's what we need. So somebody wants to marry a privileged lady. You may get a message of concern. The privileged lady. You probably won't get a message. They're going to tell you that they walked away from somebody or maybe they ended something. I don't know. This person could have had options, but you're definitely going to get a message. The message could be the will you marry me message. They may text it to you. You may think it's a joke. It may be real. Who knows, right? Just to test you. But you're definitely going to get a message about this person. They're changing. They're going to tell you that they moved. This person had options. You ended something with them. But I think they're going to reach out to you. They're going to tell you, hey, something happened in my life. I'm moving. I changed. Look. So they moved. They said they're moving. I, I moved. I changed residences or something like that. Oh, spirit. Yeah, they're going to tell you they was dealing with a false person. So that's the Page of Pentacles here. This very sneaky, methodical person. Very, very sneaky. That they had some fake people around them. But whoever these fake people were or is, uh, it made them change. So they're jumping from the pan to the fire <laughs> if they want to marry you. Oh, spirit. What is this message of concern? If you can just kind of tell them. Message of concern. Oh, whatever this message is, it's going to piss some people off. People are going to be mad. This is the five of wands. You probably won't get a message from those people. Holy, Holy Spirit, what's the change? You probably get a message from whoever they're walking away from. I don't know. This person, they invested well. So they're reaping their rewards. So they have their money. They're able to change, to move, or whatever. Spirit, clarify this false person. Holy Spirit, clarify this false person here. a new world so they're leaving someone who did something to them they could have involved other people fighting all the time you probably gonna get a letter from that person holy spirit clarify this message of concern in this five of wands you probably gonna get a mean letter or a text or an email okay you're gonna get a letter or, or a text telling you that they walked away from whoever they was fighting with all the time it may be you may get a text from the Queen of Cups in reverse. <laughs> oh my God. You may get a text from the person that they're walking away from. That's crazy, guys. That's weird. <laughs> you may be getting a text from someone's ex. Ew. Holy Spirit, clarify the will you marry me card. Somebody's frustrated that this king is coming towards you. King of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to be pissed that this person comes towards you. That's probably going to be the same person that's going to write you this text. Yeah, somebody's not standing in their strength after this ending the lover's card in reverse. Yeah, they're not going to be happy about it. Maybe they told this person that they're going to come and marry you. Because they're pissed and I think they're going to text you. Mm -hmm. Because the text is coming from the Queen of Cups in reverse, which means she's really pissed. Holy Spirit, clarify this marriage card. Oh, gosh. Hires in reverse. They're ending something. Oh, no wonder they're pissed. 
They could be getting a divorce, guys, and going to ask you to marry them. And then their ex is in a couple reverses and going to be pissed. And this person mess around and text you. And probably tell you something about this person. You know how people people are. People be like, mm. So I guess you're going to find out that your person is married. <laughs> and they just want to know, will you marry me after I get a divorce? Uh... This is quite interesting. Let's see, guys. Will you marry this person? For sex in the city. Holy Spirit. We're the collective end up marrying this person. What is the, what will the future look like with this person? Let's see. <laughs> new beginning, new love, new life. Yeah. You you may marry you may marry this person. Holy spirit. You may marry them. King and queen. Yeah. I think you will. I think you're going to marry them. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I just saw 1111. 11. All right. Did I say? That? Yeah, it was 1111. 11. Mm, you're going to marry me yet. You're going to marry me yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. 1111 11 was confirmation. Peace.